Oh man, what is this? <laughs> hey guy, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, up he comes again. I wonder if it was Anders. Anders? Did you do this with the mushrooms? I think it was him. It has to have been. I'm sure I was here when I logged on and I didn't see this. And now it's here. Woo! <laughs> hey, guy. Hey. Hey. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, man. Shoot. Get out of my house. I knock him over. Oh, too far, too far. Come on, get on top. You're almost there. <laughs> that looked awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to launch him up. No, no, I have to get like, I have to like drop down and then do it. No, still didn't get it. There we go, I got him. <laughs> Bunch of them over here. I don't know if I can actually launch them up though. No, I can't. What if I can do it from underneath? Oh, it does work! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, these poor cows. No, it wasn't Anders, really. Who would have done this? <laughs> Is it wrong that I'm laughing at this? Is, like, isn't this funny? There he goes, and... Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! And one last... guy there, and... the white one. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a few days later now, and I know. I know who it was. It was Zisto! Zisto, what a guy. And the worst part of it is we can't even get back at him, because we don't know where he is. He is hiding under a rock like a worm, this guy, and nobody can find him. And... Actually, I don't even know if he wants to be found. I'm not sure what Zisto's deal is. Like... The title of his series is Seek the Beast. If we find him, are we going to destroy his series or something? <laughs> Does he want to be found? Should we be looking? I'm not really sure what the deal is. Oh, that's empty. Uh, <laughs> anyway. That was pretty funny. Uh, turns out, though, we have another prank <laughs> that we're going to check out right now. Some of you may have seen it already, even, even before me because uh, Generic B has uploaded it already. He told me about it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. You might know what it is. I don't know what it is. But he did give a couple hints. He said, let him know when I want him to remove the warded glass. So that's one tip. Um, and he also told me where it was. It's on one of my islands by my industrial... Grinder? I'm actually getting kind of... Okay, it's not an entity thing. Had a frame rate drop there. Anyway, I think I know what it is. My guess is he did the same thing we did to Anders, where we put a, a bee in a warded glass box that we can't destroy. So He's been messing with bees. I'm guessing he came across something extremely evil, <laughs> and he's going to kill me with it or something. Uh, let's go check it out. So it should be on that island there. I think is where he said he put it. So let's go check this out. I have a... Holy smokes. <gasps> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> oh yes. Oh, why is it doing that weird flash show? It's like a big solid field thing instead of a uh alpha transparent thing. Dude, that's never getting removed. <laughs> no. I probably should remove it. That is Oh. Well, I don't like that. Now I can't see the fireworks. Guy, how long? Nausea, blindness. Ah! <laughs> um. Oh, man. That was just about to move this machine, too. Now we can't. <laughs> this thing's in the way. What's in the chest? There's a sign. Oh, we got too close. This guy. And his bees. So... <laughs> I love the fireworks, so I wonder if you can get different colors or if it's just the white. <laughs> Alright. Yo, Etho, enjoy the free XP and other surprises. Free XP? Did he give us a gift, too? Oh, he did give us serums. Okay, we got... Pregnable. Explore. Radioactive. Oh, that's for uranium. Explore. Not sure what these two are for. <laughs> Very cool though. Thank you, generic B. I let's just check this out. Oh wow, that's trippy. Oh, he cheaped out though. Look at this. He didn't do the corners. I think I can blow that up with TNT if I want to get rid of it. If I can see. <laughs> Why did he put blindness on? That's the worst. <laughs> I can live with nausea, but not blindness. I'm pretty sure you can bl blast through the corner with TNT, though. So if I want to remove it, I wonder if I should just attempt to. Obviously, we can't <laughs> live with this going all the time. Uh, yeah, look at this. Uh, Anders actually opened one of my boxes, too, using the, the Vajra weapon he said. So that's another way I think you can get through warded glass. But I don't think I'll be making this anytime soon. Because it takes... Actually that's that's really cheap. What's this though? Okay, two iridium. I could make two two plates I think. I'm not really... S oh. Yeah, that's gonna be pricey. <laughs> uh, that's another option. Tesla coil. I have not made anything out of ri iridium yet on this server, but I'm going to soon, I think. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh man, I just logged in again. This is like a few hours later, and DocM is still online, so I decided to come see what he was up to. And it looks like he's just AFKing at his farm. He's got a spider on him. <laughs> Got his turtles going, getting XP. Not sure why he has to stay online if he has a chunk loader, though. How you doing, Doc? <laughs> Should we throw some stuff at him? And surprise him? Let's give him some stone pipes. <laughs> some slime balls. Let's see, what else would Doc want? Maybe some landmarks? I don't think he would have landmarks. Oh, not all of them! Ooh. <laughs> He's gonna come back. He's like, what the? Where did this stuff come from? <laughs> uh, maybe a few tracks, too. Everybody needs a few tracks. <laughs> Look guys, look! Behind you! Fireworks! <laughs> they are so uninterested. Ah. Uh, you know what guys, I keep talking about this tree like this, this whole plan I have for this tree here, and I realized the other day, you know, I better start working on that, because it could take a while. Uh, so I've gotten into tree breeding.
that's not good. That's not a rainstorm thunderbolt. That was a thumbcraft thunderbolt. Which means something's probably on fire somewhere. Ah, we're fine. <laughs> I got into tree breeding finally. Our goal, by the way, is to make like a super tree for this tree farm. We want something that grows tall, gets tons of leaves, drops tons of saplings, drops apples, and all kinds of crazy stuff. And I am working on it now. Talked to BWO the other day. He gave me a crash course on tree breeding. And I just put down some trees here. And it looks like it's working. Like they're mutating and stuff. Which is very good. Uh, all the leaves that are like this blue color are ones that have mutated. Or not necessarily mutated, but they're crossbred. Right? So I'll just, just give you a quick little instruction on how this works. Uh, we have, let's grab this too, we have a tree analyzer here. We put trees in here, it takes honey, and it tells us some information about the trees. And if we look at just some normal trees here, let's go collect some saplings. Uh, these are some of the trees I found in dungeons. Alright, we got a sapling from that. Let's try to get an oak sapling too. Um... Just a raw one. I might even have some laying around in here. Should check. Yeah, none in there. None in there. Can't remember if I left them. Oh yes, we did leave them. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna compare two saplings here. This is a regular oak sapling. So you put it in, it uses a honey, tells us what species it is. It's an apple oak saplings that's like how many it drops uh, when you break the leaves and that's normal rate uh, matures that's like how quick i think the apples mature that it drops and that's on fastest height it's a small tree girth it's a one by one tree uh lowest yield i think that's i think that's like how many apples you get from it and sappiness is lower this I don't know if this is actually used at the moment, but later in future versions of forestry, sappiness determines how much biomass you get from a sapling. But right now it's fixed at 800 millibuckets per sapling, or 1.2 buckets if you use honey to ferment it or apple juice. So then you go to the second page, uh, some more information where it grows, supports poems, which is... Uh, like apples and possible produce apples mutations nothing there and some other jibber jabber there we look at a balsa sapling now and you can see it's a little different uh, saplings is triple triple <laughs> mature slower so that's not good it was fast fastest on the oak saplings height larger one by one normal yield sappiness lower um, does not produce apples it's able to possibly if we uh, breed it properly but you see how it's crossed out um, supports jungle nuts anyway <laughs> so the idea with tree breeding is you want to get all the positive qualities from uh, our trees and combine them into a super tree so for example I want this fastest quality from this tree and I want this triple quality for saplings from this tree so we're gonna we crossbreed them here you need bees to do that uh, they need to be working in the area uh, and then over time just very very slowly the leaves start changing here so I'm actually really excited to see what we get from these because there's a chance I'm gonna get something really cool from these um, and the tree grafter just helps to guarantee you're going to get a sapling from them. So we got we got one here. Okay, so we got slower, fastest, triple, normal, average, small. <laughs> I'm trying to get triple, triple, fastest, fastest on an apple oak. That's my goal here. And the way this is combined, I think there's a very low chance, but it can happen. Uh, so I'm going to check a few trees here. Actually, I want to harvest all these and then we'll look at them. 
Okay, everyone, so we went through the tree leaves here. We grabbed the ones that were crossbred, and I dropped them off in this chest. This is a trick I learned from B00. He says to harvest them all and then drop them off so that any that are the same will stack together like this. And then I don't have to analyze each one individually, which is annoying. Uh, but we got a lot of different types from this harvest because this is like third generation of stuff I've done here. Uh, this is a silver lime tree, by the way. Let's just check what we start started with here and see what they became after they crossbred. So this is this is like a second generation one I had. I combined silver lime and apple oak together, and I got fastest fastest on that small average. And then if we look at the apple oak. This is one I mixed with a balsa sapling that had the triple quality, uh, but it's an apple oak with triple on, so that's that looked pretty good, but the mature rate was slower, slower, which is not good. Uh, so from that, let's just toss these <laughs> so we don't mix them up. From that, we get whatever's in this chest, and we even got a new type of tree from this, a uh, hill cherry sapling. There's like a 10 to 15% chance, I'm not sure what it is, that we get this from combining an apple oak with the silver lime. So this is totally new. We'll check that out. And we'll go through a few of these. See if we got our perfect tree here that we were going for. Not quite perfect, but uh, <laughs> uh, the, next, the next stage to uh, our tree breeding. This doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't really want a silver lime species. I want an apple oak, I think. That doesn't look too good. This is the new type we got. We might get some good traits from it. Uh, normal, fast. Um, we have a tree that we can get faster from. Oh, this is good. Highest sappiness. So if we want to get that quality, this is the tree we're going to use to get the best sappiness. <laughs> so at some point, I'm probably going to mix it with this to get that. All right, we got triple fastest. We are trying to get triple, triple, fastest, fastest. Let's refill this too. I'm pretty sure it can be done from this, but it would be pretty rare. Triple, ooh. and if not, after another th mutation session here, I think we could get it for sure. Triple fastest. It's close. It's very close. All right. I'm going to go through these and see if we get it on any of them. This is good, though. This is our, another thing we'll be using. Awesome. So I went through our saplings, and I organized things a bit better here. These are the junker ones. These are the ones that got the inferior qualities that we're not really looking for. Uh, we're going to be throwing those out. These are the ones from a different species, which we're not aiming for. We want apple oaks, I think. And then finally, these five are like the, the prime, <laughs> the cream of the crop. These are the ones that got the better of the qualities mixed in. And we're going to use these for the next generation. So... Let's go through these. Apple oak, apple oak. It has triple, fastest, average, and normal yield all mixed in with it. And then, of course, it has the lesser quality that we don't really want. Normal, slower, uh, small, lowest mixed in too. Then we have another tree. Oh, not that one. This one here. Again, much the same thing. If we took these two trees and mixed them together, then we're going to start getting uh, two of the same traits, like triple-triple, or else we're going to get uh, two inferiors together, like normal-normal, starting to mix together. Uh, or we could use these, which have those already, triple-triple, slower-slower, but there's no chance next generation of getting a triple-triple and then fastest-fastest. If we use this, it'll be like triple-triple, slower fastest at the best so and same thing here we got fastest fastest so I think we're going to use these two um, and of course we got our new species which we will try to get this highest sappiness level out of later 
and it produces a new type of fruit. So that's that's cool. And this type of tree, I think, looks pretty cool too. So let's. Uh, I just want to check something out. I had trouble with one of the silver limes I bred. It didn't actually grow for some reason. Like it was bugged out. So I just want to make sure this stuff works. Because if we breed a perfect tree and it doesn't grow, <laughs> it's useless to us. Oh no, I can't grow it. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, I might have to keep my eye on that. Um, we'll grow one of these. Hmm. Is it the hoe? Should I go get some bone meal? I think I'm gonna go get some bone meal. Yeah, that did it. Bone meal is the trick. I might not be using this properly, I'm not sure. Uh, but the cherry tree grew. Let's try grow this one. Ooh. <laughs> uh, that was the fastest, or one of the mixed ones. So now that we grow that, we can get even more saplings off of it if we need more than just one for something. And you see they stack together. They're all the same type. Triple fastest average. Normal. Cool. Uh, and actually, I want to check this one out. The triple triple. I want to make sure that works on it. So if we cut this tree down, we should get a ton of saplings from it, I think. If that effect is actually doing what I want it to do. Okay, so it looks like a normal oak. But it should drop a lot. Uh, we'll just go break them normally. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. I was expecting to get a sapling just about every leaf here. We got three, four, five. Oh, are they dropping? Oh, maybe they're dropping three at once. Is that what it's doing? Is that how the triple works? Okay, we have... We have six, maybe not. It looked like that one dropped more than one at once, so. We have eight. Okay, we dropped one. Nine, yeah, it was just one. Ten, eleven. It is definitely dropping more than a normal tree, though, so it should be good. So yeah, we cut down those trees now, the older generation, the inferior one, and we now combine our two better trees types and try to get an even better tree from that. And there we go. We got our next generation going already here. Those are the two that looked the best to me, the ones that had a mix of everything in them. And from that, we're going to get some bad ones, some average ones, and maybe even a few good ones. <laughs> and that's going to be the generation after that. That's the introduction to tree breeding. So for the most part, I think I'll do most of that on my own because it does take a long time for them to crossbreed. Uh, and it is only so interesting. <laughs> so uh, that's how I'm getting my trees, though. And if I get anything cool, I'll, I'll show you guys. But uh, other than that, I have been working on something here. I'm trying to make our our uh, rail path from Honeycomb Labs here to get to our islands up there. So I think we're going to cut it straight through here. And this goes all the way right under Storage Island. Up here. <laughs> you can still hear the fireworks going. This is where we had the elevator tracks before. We're going to rip those out. And uh, we'll set something up in this area for unloading stuff. But I don't know why I didn't think of this before. There's actually a really good way to get carts up and down. Although I guess I couldn't really use this with trains, which is what I was trying to do. Uh, but arcane levitators, our friends, <laughs> they are awesome. Uh, what we can do... Get the cart to go over one of these things, or multiple of them, like 
10 or so and it should lift it all the way up to the island there with no no connection to the ground like we have or like we were going to do uh, so that'll be really cool and the best part is not sure if we'll need this but we can actually deactivate it with redstone so now it won't lift the carts what if we can get back to that spot let's try turn it on again ah, there it goes <laughs> so that is a possible idea I think that'll work out good um, not much has changed here but uh, stuff is coming together that's good Anyway, I think that'll be it for this episode. I think I'm going to try to get another Feed the Beast episode out soon, though, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, Feed the Beast is so much fun. And there's still one here. What the heck? Guy. <laughs> Should we keep him? I don't know. He's so moldy. It's going to make the house stink. We'll keep him around for a while. This thing, I don't know what to do. Uh, he said to call him when I want him to remove it. Oh, man. <laughs> I like the fireworks, but uh, they don't stop. They're really loud. Can we get in? No, he covered the bottom, too. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Oh, man. Okay. Can't see. Ooh, that could make a person sick. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Have a great day.